Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here we have a young patient who came with a history of trauma. The patient presented with weakness of lower limbs and urinary incontinence as well. We can see there is compression fracture of T12 vertebra with mild reduction in its height. We can also see that there is a fracture line passing through posterior superior edge of this vertebra with mild bulge of upper portion of its posterior body line causing obliteration of adjacent interior CS of sleeve with minimal impression on adjacent low dorsal cord near conus. We can also see abnormal increased signals in the body of this vertebra on given T2 weighted sagittal sequence suggesting diffuse bone bruising. Here we can also see increased signals within the cord and conus which can be confirmed on all given axial images. We can compare these images with the normal adjacent card. Here you can see card shows normal signals with normal surrounding CS of sleeve while we can see that increased signals are noted within the card which is swollen as well while surrounding CS of sleeve is obliterated in this region. These changes are sequelae of trauma suggesting uh, post-traumatic non-hemorrhagic cord contusion. Generally we can see that adjacent vertebrae shows normal height with intact adjacent end plates and there is no soft compressive disc disease as all discs shows normal height and hydration pattern and there is no evidence of discovertebral osteomyelitis. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.